Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock, and I had audio issues for the last couple videos. I finally figured it out. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm gonna re-give you today's picks. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna go over yesterday's picks. I'm just gonna quickly give it to you because we don't have much time. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Everybody's in a hurry. Uh, I'm just excited to get these videos out. This is for April 13th. Uh, in the background there, we're, we're going to go look at our picks. Let me change this. Can you see? Let's get this even closer so you guys can see it. There. How's that? Tell me if you have any more problems. Uh, okay. There we go. Now, we're going to go over today's picks and uh, see why... We're picking them and all of that stuff like that. I'm not going to do quick picks. You can watch it. It's not going to be a long video. Okay, we got New Jersey versus the Rangers. I got a sick feeling about the New Jersey in this game for some reason. I don't know what it is. I think it might be the letdown that the Rangers have that they didn't go out and get anybody to help them make the playoffs. But... I'm still going to lean the Rangers here. I'm just not going to lean the Rangers on anything more than a money line. And I'm not going to be putting huge on it. Uh, still say over six. These are just way too offensive-minded teams uh, with relatively green defenses. Uh, New Jersey also gave up Kulikov. Um, and the big trade with the Islanders, it should start. They're going to be aggressive because they've got young players now trying to work their way up in the lineup. And that's another reason why I'm a little concerned about the Rangers here. They, the Rangers need this game hardcore, though. So I'm going to go with the Rangers on the money line and over six. Boston versus Buffalo. I mean, if Boston doesn't win this game, forget about it. Seriously, uh, I'm taking them. Question is, do I take them puck line or in regulation? Uh, regulation's only paying one and a half. It's only giving you half your money. Um, the only reason why I'm not taking them in regulation, uh, like PL here, if possible PL here, is because of the uh, all market net. But with the added offensive abilities of Taylor Hall, although he's got to work into the lineup, and the Bruins having a very young defense themselves. The other problem is, let me see if Ta if uh, Rask is going to be in here. It's possible that Tuka Rask could be playing here. No, it's going to be Swayman. Oh, crap. <laughs> Take it in reg. Uh, the kid's been playing pretty good, but he's still a kid. I, I don't want to take a chance on that. Let's go in reg, and uh, we'll go the over for sure. Uh, see if there's any other surprises in here. Trigger versus Sudobin. Okay, let's go back to our picks again. Washington versus Philadelphia. Uh, yeah, I got to go Washington. Washington and Reg. Uh, Philadelphia just looks like a defeated foe. Uh, badly, badly defeated foe. Um, and over six, Philadelphia's defense is porous. They've been trying to play better defense, but they just don't have it. Um, they're going to have to restructure that. It's something in there next, for next year. Uh, Washington should be on a high, sort of. I don't know how they're going to react to Verana for... for for uh, Mantha. That was really their big move. Uh, also, I think Philadelphia is going to be in sad sorts for Ra um, Raffle leaving and going to Washington. A Raffle should be in the lineup here. So, um, yeah, I'm going to take Washington in regulation and over. Uh, Calgary, Toronto. This is not as automatic as you think. Toronto's on a back-to-back. -back. Calgary should be healthy. Calgary had a strong game against Edmonton in a similar situation as this, where Edmonton was really tired from a long, tra long travel. 
Um, Toronto lost to Montreal last night. I don't think their head was in the game with the whole trade, dead, trade deadline stuff. I'm on the fence about this game. I'm probably, I would say, fade it. But if you're going to play it, Calgary PL, because it sounds like Hutchinson should be in net. Uh, Riddick won't be ready. So Calgary PL seems like the play here. And as far as over-under is concerned, I got to go over. Oh, you're going to get five and a half on this? Yes. Over five and a half all day. All day. That's the play right there. Oh, I got to get that to my Patreon members right away. Uh, Tampa Bay versus Nashville. Um, I'm going Tampa Bay. I just think Tampa Bay is starting, is waking up now. They got, they the team showed support by getting Savard for them, even though they've had a rocky, seriously rocky start for them, for where they should be. Tampa Bay shouldn't be losing games. I don't care if Kucherov is out or not. This team should not be losing games. Nashville's going to play them hard, though. They play every game hard. They're just way so injured that Tampa Bay should pull it out. I'm not doing anything but an ML here, though. Tampa Bay, ML... And uh, I would glean under the way Nashville's playing defense right now. It's hard to score on them. And uh, they don't have all much, all that much offense themselves. Dallas versus Florida. Um, I'm going to go. Uh, this is a tough one. I'm going to go Stars just because they're at home. It's a coin flip. They both need this win. Um, I just like the energy of the Stars right now. And uh, Hudobin's playing out of his head. Also, the under on here with Drigger and Hudobin in net. And this being sh- should be a tight matchup. I think the under is a better play than the actual line. Um, I would probably take the under for a high for a bigger bet than the uh, line. Okay, then the then the side. Okay, boys and girls, I got, thought I'd do that real quick for you so you can see my audio is back up and working again. Uh, whatever was going on there, I figured it out and hopefully we see more of you guys because my views were falling down because people could barely hear me apparently. Thanks for you guys for telling me that it was happening. Uh, sorry you had to strain your ears there. We're back at her now. Have a great day. Lots of love to you. Okay. Bye.